Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTart and welcome back to the Wix tutorial series. Today we're taking a look at adding and uh, editing a members area to your website. To do this it's very simple, you can just click add on the left hand side of the editor here, navigate down to members and choose add to site. This will take a few seconds to do so, but when it does, you'll notice a login button appear at the top side of your header and uh, you'll be navigated automatically to the members area page. For example, you can see a login bar here and some account settings below. If you then go to your live site and navigate to the members section of your web page, you can see in the members area, you'll have a list of everybody that is signed up to your blog they'll be able to see various bits of information about other members and be able to interact with them from here. Some things are private and some things any member can see. If I log into my profile, for example, uh, the following pages will be public. That'll be the profile and any posts, comments, or likes that I've created. Uh, things that people won't be able to see are any drafts, my accounts, notifications, or settings options down here. That's completely private and only you can see that if you're logged in. In the members area of your website, users will be able to follow other users, which means that they'll get notified when they create a post or leave a comment. They'll also be able to subscribe to the blog from here and customize their notifications as well as edit any of their personal information on their page. It's possible that you'll need to block or delete a member for whatever reason, and it's very simple to do that. Make sure you're logged in as an admin and go to your live website and the members page. When you do so, you can click on the relevant site member by choosing the more actions icon in the top right. You then have two options here. You can block the member and then confirm. To unblock, it's the same process again. Select that, choose unblock member and unblock again. And if you'd like to delete a site member, you can do it from the same uh, area here by choosing delete. If you've given a member writing privileges, you'll be able to remove them from that menu as well. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all next time on TipTup. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.